Hey everyone, it's Delilah, vegan in Vegas. I'm here today to present a recipe I just tried. It's a lasagna with some new products I have not had before. One of them is this Hearts of Palm uh, lasagna sheet. Um, so stay tuned to see uh, what I thought about that. Um, another product I hadn't tried before was this cashew cheese by Vegan Heavenly Delights, and it has a picture of a blonde lady on it. So um, I'm gonna throw this into my lasagna dish, and I also use the Abbott's Butcher um, ground beef, and this is basically made from pea protein. So I throw this all together in my lasagna. So stay tuned, you won't want to miss my review of what my food tasted like and looked like. So uh, stay tuned, I really can't wait to show you all of these finds here I actually got from Whole Foods here in Las Vegas. Um, if you can't find these, there's a ton of great substitutes like regular pasta sheets, um, tofu, um, or you can even make your own cashew uh, cheese or your own uh, ricotta cheese with cashews or other types of nuts. Um, you can use mozzarella cheese. You don't have to use ricotta. So there's so many amazing products out there. Um, that I cannot wait to show you how I combine them today. So stay tuned and I'll go ahead and show you how I made this lasagna. Okay, so here I am taking out the Hearts of Palm lasagna sheets. It says to drain, layer, and bake, but the directions didn't say at what temperature to put it to or for how long. So I just went ahead and ended up baking it for about um, 35 to 40 minutes at 350. Um, so I went ahead and opened the package and was a little bit caught off guard um, by how much uh, water was actually inside, but um, I guess that ended up keeping them uh, pretty moist. So um, the directions did say to rinse and drain. So I went ahead and put these in a colander and tried to rinse them as carefully as I could. They were pretty delicate and a couple of them ripped a little bit, but that's okay, they're still edible. So I let them sit and dry for a little bit after I was done rinsing them. Um, and then I went ahead and got two zucchinis. I was debating on whether or not I wanted to peel them. Just for a personal preference, I ended up peeling them and uh, slicing them as thin as I can. You can definitely cut and slice however you prefer for your lasagna. Um, and then I went ahead and just placed them on a baking sheet to sit out and um, drain for a little bit with some salt. And then I ended up baking them for about 20 minutes. Uh, here I am cooking the Abbott's Butcher ground beef. Again, this is mainly pea protein as well as some mushroom. I really like it because it's high in protein and it's really delicious. You usually buy it in, in the refrigerated section, but I had froze mine to last a little bit longer. Um, I will say again, you um, probably, you know, can take it out of the um, freezer a bit of time beforehand. I had a little bit of a struggle uh, taking it out of the container, but um, what I noticed uh, from cooking this is that uh, it really benefited from some moisture. So I don't typically cook with too much oil. I prefer to spray a little bit of oil if I'm using it, but I really like to cook things in vegetable broth. So I ended up cooking this with some vegetable broth Every now and again, I would flip it and add a little bit more. Um, so I just kept covering it, let it steam and um, get super juicy, added a little bit more veggie broth as I see um, uh, if it needed it or not. You can definitely use oil if you want or add less or more, whatever your preference is. So eventually it did break apart and then you just have to kind of wait for it to cook down and then you can use this for the um, meaty aspect of the lasagna. Um, 
I love nutritional yeast. I think that it's uh, super delicious. It has this kind of cheesy taste. And I already had some in a jar, so I went ahead and add that to my um, ground beef and my vegan ground beef. Um, it also has a lot of really nice vitamins and minerals. Okay, so my zucchini was done being baked, so I went ahead and added some marinara sauce. I really like this one. It has a lot of veggies in it. And I just went ahead and began to layer my lasagna. Um, I was debating on which way to place the lasagna sheets since they were pretty narrow and thin. Um, I believe it said to maybe use like a bread loaf, but I ended up just using this, this dish, this casserole dish. So um, this is the uh, ricotta cheese made from sprouted cashews. I just went ahead and layered it with the other veggies. Um, it wasn't, <laughs> I, I was I was really anxious to try this dish, guys. So I I really you know didn't make this super neat or beautiful, but um, you know what? All the flavors are there, so I just kind of knew it would come together somehow. Also, if you have any other veggies that you wanted to add or that you like to add to your lasagna, maybe mushrooms or broccoli or spinach. Um, you can do that as well. I just, since I was just kind of taste testing these um, these ingredients, I just wanted to try them with very few other ingredients. So here I am just adding some Italian seasoning as well. To top off the final and uh, top of, to top off the final and top layer, I just added some follow your heart Parmesan cheese, as well as some more seasoning. Of course, you can add whatever seasoning you like, and then I popped it in the oven for 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes, and this is basically what it turned out like. Okay everyone, the lasagna is done. It has cooled down. I'm definitely excited to try this. I have not tried the uh, Heart of Palm pasta sheets before or the cashew ricotta cheese, so I am really eager to go ahead and dig in. So I'm gonna do my best to try to cut nicely. Um, but I think part of What's awesome about lasagna is it never has to look super neat to taste really good. So I can appreciate that because I'm kind of a messy chef. I don't really make things super neat all the time. Of course, presentation is a good thing, but 
um, sometimes that's hard to achieve, especially with lasagna. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. Um, you know, you can't really see all the layers too well. I probably could have um, thinned out my zucchini a little more, maybe even cooked it down, roasted it a, a tad bit more. I was really anxious though to go ahead and give this a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a close up here. Hopefully you're able to see that on camera. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dig in right now. So this is what it looks like. And here we go. <laughs> I also have the um, Abbott's Butcher uh, ground beef in there. So it's made from pea protein. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything in my bite here. Okay, here I go. Wow, that ricotta is very creamy. Um, it's not too salty, but I do taste the saltiness of it. Um, that also could be from the saltiness of the Follow Your Heart Parmesan cheese on top. I'm gonna go ahead and try the zucchini. Mm -hmm. So I think it depends on how you like your zucchini. I like to have a little bit of texture. It's definitely not crunchy. I only roasted it in the oven for maybe about 15 minutes and I only put salt. Maybe next time I'd add a little bit of more seasoning onto the zucchini, but um, I think uh, overall the combination is really good. You have the meaty texture of the um, Abbott crumbles and then you also have the really cheesy um, cashew cheese. So I really like it a lot and I'm gonna go ahead and eat some more. <laughs> oh my goodness. So the cheese is Definitely the star, but I totally forgot to mention the Heart of Palm pasta sheets. Like, you literally can't tell you're eating Heart of Palm. I mean, I only just remembered right now. I kind of, when I was eating it, I kind of went into this daze of um, memories of eating lasagna and just having it be super classic and tasting, um, uh, very familiar and nostalgic. Um, I will say it is a little bit hard to break up my fork. Perhaps I needed a knife, but I'm gonna just go ahead and try a piece of the Heart of Palm pasta sheet. Wow. So I kind of destroyed my, you know, <laughs> my uh, somewhat beautiful, uh, or not pasta uh, of someone beautiful or, or not pasta um, lasagna square. Um, it's, you know, kind of just looks like a pasta mess right now. But honestly, all the flavors go together really well. Um, I really like this pasta sheet. It kind of has that like briny flavor, um, kind of like the um, acid or the juice you would get in like a jar of pickles or anything pickled. It's not too salty or sour. Um, be, you know, especially it kind of blends in uh, with the background of the tomato sauce and it really goes well with the cheese. Um, honestly, I think this was a really good dish and it looks pretty messy and maybe it doesn't look super professional, but I definitely have to say that this is a dish that I think my family is going to like. Um, I'll definitely <laughs> let you know uh, once it's dinner time uh, and everyone gets a chance to try it, but I think it's super delicious and I would totally make it again with the Heart of Palm Pasta. I love that it's low cal, um, low fat. Uh, you don't need to pre-bake anything. This was really awesome. Super easy dish to pull together. I literally just threw it in this uh, dish, you know, with no rhyme or reason. You saw it was pretty messy. And I do have to say, I really loved it. Another tip I would say is maybe if you don't have to freeze your Abbott's Crumble, don't. Um, because it did take a little bit of extra time to cook that, whereas opposed to, to it would cook a little bit faster if it was just already in the fridge or perhaps thawed out. So, um, but overall, this was a super fast and easy dish, and I hope that 
Um, <laughs> I hope that when you get a chance to try it, you let me know in the comments. So if you did like this video, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and let me know what kind of dishes you would like to see veganized or any type of new products you would like me to give a try. I love trying new things and I think these are all a hit. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, my name is Delilah and I would love to show you more videos of what it's like to be a vegan in Vegas. So until next time, see you then. Bye.